there's no chapter next week. You literally could not have picked a worse time to go on hiatus, man. Yo, I was yelling. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. How do you say fourth in Japanese? Because remember when he activated second? He had like this epic speech about like being thankful. Like, I'm actually glad that I got to meet you because you're really strong. And when I lost to Aokiji, I realized that unless I can get stronger too, I won't be able to protect my friends. They're not all strong like me. Either way, they're my friends and I want to keep them. That's why I want to get stronger than anyone else. So that I don't have to lose anyone! But in this case, you have the whole speech about Doflamingo being a thorn in Luffy's ass. And he flips it, because Doflamingo's like, you're actually, you're a pain. You're a pain in my butt. Luffy says, no, it's the other way around. Doflamingo, son, you better get the... That's why Luffy told Cavendish, I need you to take Traffy and Robin the, the hell away from here. You need to leave because this shit's not gonna hold. The only one who's capable of being here and just witnessing the glory of Gear Forth as of right now is my man Sabo. I still don't know who's gonna end up staying or leaving. Law says uh, he's gonna stay regardless to, to whatever end he's gonna see this thing through because this is a personal personal thing that he has against Doflamingo. Cavendish gives Robin his coat for whatever reason. I think if you look at the faces of the Tontadas, the last time we see them in this chapter, it kind of looks like they're going to end up staying. Robin is injured. Leo says that he can actually stitch up Law's arm back. So if he leaves with Monshiri after knowing that Law is going to stay, that's kind of a dick move. I, I honestly think that the only person that should be leaving right now should be Rebecca. Because it's like, yeah, just, just, just go. But let's go back to the main event. This fight is making all of the other fights seem like a walk in the park. Joe Flamingo was able to dodge a grizzly magnum like none of this shit is working. It's like, you know, he's punking Luffy so hard. It's like Luffy is attracted to the ground. There's this part where Luffy is barely able to dodge overheat and if you look at his leg, it's bleeding a little bit. But then Doflamingo just sneaks up behind him. He's like, what's up, Mugiwara? You let your guard down. Luffy didn't see this shit coming. He gets sent crashing into the floor. Now, there's a couple of things that I, I did kind of notice. We're like, oh, uh, I'm not sure about this. So, personally, I think that the, the bullet string that Doflamingo fired to hit Robin and Law, I think Luffy should have been able to block that before it happened. Because Cavendish had to step in. Glad he did, but it's like, oh my god. Another thing is that, obviously, we all wanted Law to have something to do with Doflamingo's defeat. But it's like, yo, Luffy is counting on that damage. The damage that Law dealt to be able to knock out Doflamingo. He's like, hey man, like that damage, how are you feeling, Dofi? That damage that Law dealt, is it, is it kicking in? My point here is that he needed to activate Gear 4. I mean, Doflamingo was having it easy. I mean... They had another hockey clash. That didn't do shit. Doflamingo makes a pretty good point about the time limit because we, we thought it was about an hour, but it's like, no, if you wait an hour, this shit is going to look like somebody stepped on a tomato. There are people on the edges that can't run away. So you have about 30 minutes to start getting your job done. So Luffy, that's, I think, that's when Luffy really, okay, all right. Thanks for the invitation. Gear forth, motherfucker. I hope Bartolomeo gets to see this shit. Luffy Senpai! Luffy Senpai, hold it for a picture! What do you think this is gonna look like? Do you think, like, Luffy's entire body is gonna burst into flames? Is he gonna be using full armament hockey over his body? Like, I don't know, here, the thing about Gears is that every time that he's used one, it's kind of independent of hockey. And again, we hadn't learned about hockey when uh, Gear 2nd and 3rd were introduced to the story. I think that because he's biting his arm, it makes me think that he's probably going to do something to his bloodstream. I'm just waiting for Luffy to go Super Saiyan. In other news, I was kind of disappointed in Treble in this chapter because he basically turned into like a flammable fart. And also, Watatsumi looks like he's going to be joining Jinbei, which to me makes sense because I think it makes sense for Watatsumi to be part of Luffy's alliance because Blackbeard has San Juan Wolf. But also, I think it's important to remember that, like, for example, Gear 3rd has 
it takes its toll on Luffy. Remember, like he turned into like mini Luffy, and because it just it just has its drawbacks. Each gear usually has like you know it's not for free. So I'm also wondering what's gonna happen to Luffy after he uses Gear Fourth. That's it for me. As you can tell, this chapter got me hyped. You can tell from Doflamingo's facial expression, he got a little bit worried, because all this time he's been like, hmm. And now, like when he said Gear 4, he's like, hmm. Hell of a cliffhanger. Thank you so much for watching. Like the review if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more One Piece reviews. And uh, comment. Tell me what you thought about it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah. Autumn. Bum, bum.